My name is Kaylin Epler, and I will be reading from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter books are the most challenged books in the United States. This one was first challenged in 2001 in many states across the United States, such as Oregon, Iowa, California, Florida, Alaska, and it was challenged in Canada. It was again challenged in 2003, 2004, 2007, in other countries across the United States, and also in Russia. It was banned in 2007 in Wakefield, Massachusetts for its themes of witchcraft and sorcery. I will be reading from pages 306 and 307 of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Third, to Mr. Harry Potter, said Dumbledore, the room went deadly quiet. For pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor House 60 points. The din was deafening. Those who could add up while yelling themselves hoarse knew that Gryffindor now had 472 points, exactly the same as Slytherin. They had tied for the house cup. If only Dumbledore had given Harry just one more point. Dumbledore raised his hand. The room gradually fell silent. There are all kinds of courage, Dumbledore smiling. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. I therefore award 10 points to Mr. Neville Longbottom. Someone standing outside the great hall might well have thought some sort of explosion had taken place. So loud was the noise that erupted from the Gryffindor table. Harry, Ron, and Hermione stood up to yell and cheer as Neville, white with shock, disappeared under a pile of people hugging him. He had never won so much as a point for Gryffindor before. Harry, still cheering, nudged Ron in the ribs and pointed at Malfoy who couldn't have looked more stunned and horrified if he had just had the body bind curse put on him. Which means, Dumbledore called over the storm of applause, for even Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff were celebrating the downfall of Slytherin, we need a little change of decoration. I think this book is beneficial um, for children to read and for adults to read because it has great lessons, uh, valuable lessons about friendship and loyalty and sacrifice and courage. In the part I just read, Neville had so much courage to stand up for his friends, to his friends. And Harry had so much courage to stand up to his enemies. And those are just some of the most important lessons that a child can learn while reading, is to have courage and be true to yourself and stand up for yourself and stand up to others, whether they're your enemies or your friends. Thank you.